Right, this is um, still biological treatments for OCD, and now we're looking at psychosurgery. So this actually is um, any kind of surgical intervention. It doesn't have to be removal of an area of the brain, any kind of surgical intervention to relieve symptoms of OCD. So in this case, there are three things that we look at that can be done. So a capsulotomy, which removes part of the capsule, a cingulotomy, which removes part of the cingulum from the brain, um, and the last one is called deep brain stimulation, sorry, and that's where you implant a battery pack in someone um, and wires lead directly into the part of the brain. So um, the cingulum, if we go back to this one, actually is something that links the OFC to the chordate nucleus. So that's part of our brain which we know is um, implicated in the worry circuit. So what we actually do by removing part of the cingulum is we interrupt that worry circuit. It means that those signals can't get through, which relieves that worry circuit and stops it from um, being overactive, which relieves the symptoms of OCD. Then the capsule is slightly different. It's part of the limbic system, um, which is um, some brain structures that have some responsibility for emotion, which um, is kind of is it's in the same kind of area, but it's not directly interrupting the worry circuit in the same way. Um, but it's again removing part of the brain uh, that deals with emotion. And then the last one um, with deep brain circulation, what it actually does again, it's looking at that area of the brain, and by putting a current into it, it actually interrupts that worry circuit. So these two are quite similar. They're looking at directly dismantling that worry circuit and stopping it from being overactive. Um, and here's just a picture of the limbic system. Uh, you can see this here is the uh, capsule. I just wanted to find a picture of the capsule for you to make it slightly more memorable. So you can, I think the single one might be on here as well. Uh, no, I can't see a picture of the, the single one. But anyway, uh, that was just a picture. So let's carry on and have a look at um, evaluation for this area. Um, obviously, there are problems with psychosurgery. It is a radical last step, basically, because it's completely irreversible. And you've got when you're doing brain surgery, there's potential for quite a lot to go wrong. Uh, you know, you can easily uh, lose different functions that you've had beforehand. And I'd refer you in that case um, to it, your textbook for Mary Lou Zimmerman, who uh, wasn't kind of warned beforehand how dangerous it was and basically ended up unable to even perform simple tasks like going to the toilet. So um, that's an extreme case, but all brain surgery carries risks, you know, up to and including the risk of death. So it, it is a radical last step. If we look at cingulotomy now, um, what we found was um, Doherty found that 45% of patients uh, showed improvement. And this is, again, as a last step. Um, and that's supported, again, by Young, who, again, found no, no adverse side effects. So that's quite positive. Um, but the problem is uh, we don't know if it's down to the placebo effect. So that's the issue. It might be because people know they've had brain surgery. They It's such a strong expectation that they're going to improve as a result that that can actually cause a placebo effect and they improve. So we could cause a placebo effect with less uh, invasive and drastic measures if we're going to do that. Right, TMS is the final thing that we look at in terms of psychosurgery. It's not actually psychosurgery, but it's another biological therapy that... Um, treats the brain for OCD. So it's called transcranial magnetic stimulation and it doesn't destroy any brain tissue, it just stimulates it. So in this case you can see you've got this um, magnetic rod and what they would actually do is um, be using it over here in particular to stimulate our frontal cortex. As we know the OFC that's orbitofrontal cortex in this area here. So it would particularly be used on this area. It's painless um, and it uh, let's have a look at how effective it is. So Greenberg used it for 20 minutes and found a reduction that lasted for eight hours 
not a really long-term thing then. Um, on the other hand, uh, these guys did a similar experiment and suggested actually that it was all again down to the placebo effect. That's because you know with when someone's having a biological treatment, particularly if it's a radical one, they really do have the expectation that it's going to work. Um, so that can actually be causing your improvement in symptoms rather than um, the actual treatment. So that's the big question really with this. Um, and that's the end of these therapies.